Hi everybody, welcome to another episode, an interesting episode of Fish Keep in Jamaica. Today, I'll be doing a topic, natural remedies for some common fish ailments, right? Uh, so, I'll be giving you 10 natural ways in which you can help to get your sick, that is fish. Get your sick, get <laughs> hi everybody welcome to another fish keeping jamaica rally here today we'll be looking at natural remedies used in the fish keeping hobby so as to help to keep your fish healthy now when making a substrate for a pond or a tank it will be good for you to use uh clay okay uh clay help to cleanse your fish Right, it helps to expel parasites. Um, clay has what you call calcium mon mont morelante. Yeah, mont morelante. I'm kind of mixing up that word. I'm not all that chemistry, whatever. All right, um, parasite parasite does not do well in alkaline based water, and clay kind of help to bring up the alkalinity in um, your yeah yeah tank or pond now one of the reasons why um I, i'm just pausing here for a bit i'm giving it 10 right i just got one okay one of the reasons why i'm looking at this some of the treatments in which you might use from the pet store or from you know vets um these may um involve you or require you to remove the fish from the tank or pond or remove some type of fish from the tank or pond for example you can't use any salt based um medication with uh, snails and any type of catfish they will die so therefore using these natural remedies should work out better for you okay now if your fish have bloatedness or is it um what i call it now swim bladder um disease you can do a very simple little task you ensure that the piece is cooked and you de-skin the piece and then you can mash it up or uh, squeeze it a little bit and just drop it into the tank or pond and this should help the uh the fish to feel a little bit more comfortable and in a bit after eating uh the fish should be better okay number two feeding your fish um natural food now remember when the fish is in the wild the fish doesn't eat flakes nor car sticks nor um uh what you gonna call it no nor any other fancy food that you get from the pet shop right a lot of fancy food have salt starch and sugar which helps to um decrease the health of the fish okay so if you feed your fish um infusion daphne brine shrimp your fish will be healthy number four the use of raw crushed gar garlic right now garlic has a chemical compound by the name of alicon right a l l i c o n and don't just take my word for all these what i'm saying you can actually go and research them for yourself right but it's based on um this is based what i'm ex I'm actually sharing with you is based on um so my experience what i've researched and persons that are in the hobby who have actually gone through this um uh epic drama in their tank where they have issues and they use natural remedies okay so crushed garlic it helps to get rid of parasites now garlic doesn't work in the water if it's to if it's if it's heated so therefore it has to be at room temperature you put the garlic in the water and eventually the parasite will actually die and you don't have to force the fish to eat it because the garlic actually we call it now it needs a smell right so the water will smell like garlic the fish will actually take it into its system and after a bit the fish will be looking really healthy i think i might go have I go, I go by the market to get some okay the use of pineapple i bet you never know that right um this has an enzyme called bromelain um b-r-o-m-e-l-a-n right this element can re be regarded as an anti-parasite agent um other fruits such as pomegranate pomegranate um, in jamaica i call it pomegranate 
um, papaya, um, blackberries um, can also be used. Right? You, what you would do, you actually cut them up very small in fine pieces and just drop them in the, in the tank. Uh, you can force your fish to eat it by not feeding your fish the normal feed. Just drop it in there, eventually they will get hungry. Eventually they will eat it. Okay, um, now this one is chain, but it's true. Extra virgin coconut oil. That's the coconut oil when you go in the supermarket or you go, yeah, in a grocery store and you see this coconut oil and have like some white, extra white thing floating at the top, okay, like coconut jelly, right? Okay, um, it is high in what you call lavric acid and it actually kills parasite, right? Remember, you know, um, 95% of the illness that occur in a tank or pond are all caused by parasites so using these methods you know you can actually let's say once a week you will give your fish some of these natural um things it should work and if you have a little clay in a tank and the fish you know usually digs up uh, or you know munch on the clay and spit it out it has the what is necessary in it to help to expel the whole idea of parasite um in the tank or pond okay another natural food right um which could be used right well, a natural remedy right which could be used um is what you call um pumpkin and well raw raw carrot right and pumpkin no you wouldn't cook the pumpkin you wouldn't cook the carrot right and other vegetables like cabbage right uh they are high in vitamins well not the cabbage but they are high in vitamin a which help the fish to resist, resist la, um the parasitic larvae you must understand that some parasites within the tank or pond actually um start out its life in the tank or pond as larvae and some start as egg right and what these these, these, these natural remedies do right like the carrot and the pumpkin is that it actually kill the larvae before it actually uh, metastasize or should i say it evolves into um the actual parasite itself now all natural foods should be rendered in i call it now correct proportions you can like for example you, you realize that if it's the fish is bloated so therefore you, you take out a, a handful of peas at least get them and throw them in the pond it's just like remember um feeding your fish these items is just like when you would not want to feed your fish sparingly and that's one of the issues why a lot of parasites end up in the tank or the pond because you don't feed them sparingly and what happens is that worms and other insects thrive in the pond because of this okay um the carrot the pumpkin the cabbage the fish consider it very nice very good it's like it's like thanksgiving right very wonderful okay um another another natural remedy i i've, I've ceased counting i bridge one two three four five six no i'm at seven right um neem leaf n-e-e-m leaf um, it's used to kill external parasite. Now you all know for those persons in fish keeping for a bit You know that you have external and internal parasite parasite that actually lives on outside of the fish And you have parasite that live inside of the fish, right? Um, neem leaf, you just pick a few, drop them in the water Eventually the fish will um, actually, you know, nibble on it And if the fish don't nibble on it, it will decay in the water And the uh, important chemicals will come out in the water everything will be good now another one another natural means of managing the disease and illnesses in the pond is the use of cinnamon now cinnamon con contains uh, what I call zin zingblain zingblain <laughs> oh, let's mix up that um, zingblain uh, z-i-n-g-b-a-i-n now this chemical compound help to dissolve the parasite eggs in your tank or pond so you can imagine it's like you throw some salt on a slug that is outside on the wall right you just see it melts in front of you a uh, bonus right I, I plan to give 10 but I'm just giving 11 for a bonus right ginger now 
if your fish is in a mode of paralysis right i mean your fish is just not moving something wrong um it doesn't seem as if it is bloatedness or swim bladder whatever right this is but it's in a mode of paralysis and you concern you could grind up some ginger and you could grind up some sorry i heard that i'm just messing around you could grind up some pumpkin seed and try if, if it's not going for the food what you could do you could use a syringe and actually syringe this with some water in the fish throat and it will help the fish to actually start swimming again um i hope that this video finds i hope that this you find this video interesting right um it took a lot of work and a lot of remembrance based on my experience i have actually used some of these and it have worked um it have worked on my goldfish my cars and my mothers so that's it for fish keeping jamaica thank you for watching rally here remember to subscribe share and like and when you press the subscribe button remember to click that bell so you can get further updates bye bye